Hi, my name is Casper Dean, and I'm an extremely proud person. I can finish a whole pizza without breathing, and I don't have a single imperfection except for my face. But what I'm most proud of are my friends. I started making YouTube videos in 2010 as an awkward 16 year old. But four years later, I somehow find myself surrounded by some of the most successful young people in this entertainment industry. Every single day, one of my friends does something awesome, and I thought I'd make a video showing them off. I met Troy over Skype while I was still living in South Africa and I think he was in Australia. He wanted to get into YouTube and I wanted to get into acting and he was in a very popular South African movie called Spud. And we gave each other tips and then eventually I got a role in Spud and he became a YouTube king. More recently he released his EP T-R-X-E-Y and oh my god. I have made an EP. I'm so proud of you dude. You have done so much and I thank you for letting me be a part of your journey. I also met Jack on Skype. He took me under his wing and offered me a place to stay if I ever decided to fly out and collab with him. Somehow I convinced my parents to let me go and stay with a guy I met on the internet. He could have been a rapist. Luckily he wasn't and it was the best decision I ever made in my life. We collabed and my YouTube channel blew up. I'm so proud of what Jack and Finn have achieved and how much effort they put into their videos. A month ago they uploaded a video called A Film for Ella in which Jack went to surprise his girl girlfriend Ella in Australia and it's probably the best video I've ever seen in my life. If anyone's made me feel more secure with what I'm doing it's Tyler. He is as unpretentious as they come. Tyler you make videos that make yourself and your audience happy and this has inspired me to do the same without worrying about what others might think. It's very difficult for me to highlight one thing you did this year, Tyler, but I believe that raising over $500,000 for the Trevor Project with your audience has to be one of the most amazing things somebody could do. Connor and I became friends a long time ago before anyone else I'm mentioning in this video. He gave me a slot on his first collab channel called Collab at Sea. If you remember that, I applaud because that is some history right there. It helped me a lot at the time because I was such a small YouTuber and it gave me a bunch of exposure. I don't believe I would be where I am without you. You have done so many perfect things this year, but I have to say that the way you and O2L handled things was extremely mature and it embodies you as a person. You made good out of a bad situation and I really respect you guys for that. <sighs> I don't know where to start with you bro. I still remember how you came up to me while I was sitting alone in the O2 stadium watching One Direction practice their set. How you came up to me and made me feel very welcome. Now you and your band are taking over the world and you still have the exact same character. I can't think of a nicer guy to have made it. I'm so happy to still have you as my friend and I apologize on behalf of my more intrusive viewers about the comments that you constantly receive on your Instagram. But not once have you ever complained to me about it. And I just want to congratulate you now for getting into Bristol University. I know that was a dream of yours. The advice you have given me over these years has been tremendous. Some of the situations we've encountered together have also been hilarious. Like that time you were in the apartment and me and someone else were making noises. <laughs> And we thought no one was there, but you were, and it was hilarious. Again, it's very difficult to say one thing that you've done this year, but I have a feeling that your book is going to top it all, and I cannot wait to read it and to see where it goes. Which brings me to Alfie. You are genuinely one of the funniest guys I know and are so driven. Whenever I do something important, I look at my wrist and pretend there's a band that says, what would Alfie do? Because you always seem to be doing or trying to do the right thing. I think the highlight of your year has to be the pointless book, and I can't wait to get my hands on one of them. You were sweeter than honey, yet you still managed to be one of the most successful people in the industry. When I think of people who have their own lines of makeup, I think of scary old ladies who boss people around, like Cruella de Vil. But you get your shit done by being you. It was so good to see you launch Tanya Burr Lips and Nails, and I can't wait to see what you do next. When I told you that I was going to be making a video about the amazing things my friends have done this year. You said, Casper, please don't mention me. I haven't done anything that amazing. I replied with something like, don't worry, I'll make another joke about you. And you smiled because you don't like it when people take you too seriously. This year, your YouTube channel has blown up. Not only in stats, but in video quality and popularity amongst the YouTube community itself. But for this video, I want to highlight the fact that a few months ago, you were on a roof in the rain thatching. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but now you're doing TV shows. Just, just such a fucking good guy. Plus, you're Casper Lee's roommate, which is probably the coolest thing anyone could be. There are so many more people I wanted to mention in this video, but I just sadly don't have enough time. Also, thank you guys for being awesome. 
I couldn't have had this amazing year without you. I'll be back to my normal self next week. I just thought it would be fun to do something different. Bye bye. Which YouTuber accidentally revealed that Zoe Sug and Alfie Days are dating in a vlog? A. Jim Chapman. B. Louise. <laughs>